There are many different ways uh, through which a citizen can make uh, their voice uh, be heard uh, in the affairs and projects of their territories uh, and countries. Uh, uh, last year there were almost uh, um, 11,000 of different typologies of participatory processes going on at the same time around the world. And they have been uh, all blocked uh, uh, by this period uh, of emergency, not only because uh, the emergency made people concentrate on other things, but also because uh, uh, suspension of times uh, make difficult to plan when to restart this type of processes. Uh, there are other reasons, uh, the physical isolation uh, uh, um, applied to processes that uh, uh, needed the face-to-face -face meeting obviously are creating also forms of social isolation. At the same time, technologies are not necessarily a solution uh, for substituting uh, the traditional forms of participation because we have too much technology uh, feeding us up every day in the daily life for work, for school, for contact with parents and families and friends. And, and so in this moment, other type of activism uh, took the place of this formalized participatory processes. Uh, activists based on uh, playful and emotion-based issues like uh, uh, singing on the balcony, try to recreate uh, art uh, in the relation with neighbors, uh, uh, the small environment we are living in. And then uh, there are uh, solidarity-based uh, form of activism in which through new tools, uh, for example, technology or crowdfunding, uh, we are trying to help uh, the persons uh, which are uh, less, uh, uh, more vul vulnerable in this uh, in this period. And then there is activism uh, which we can call uh, strategic, uh, thinking about the future of post-COVID uh, world and uh, so the role of nature and maybe also the role of participatory processes. Uh, we have to dare in this moment then we think uh, if we need uh, uh, to restart from where we were or we want a new type of participatory processes, more structural, discussing the reconstruction of welfare state, uh, the fight against the injustice uh, that are deepening uh, with this uh, emergency period. So I think the most important thing is to think uh, multi-level, imagining participatory process that can value the time of citizens and their ideas and try to make the useful to different level of the states, uh, uh, local, uh, regional, national, global, in which they can be used. So let's there and let's uh, reimagine participatory processes for the future in a different way.